Lots of you have had questions about STEM design and I thought that maybe it would be easier to shoot a video than to answer all of your individual emails and show you what we think is going to happen that day. This is an impound event, which means your students need to come and drop off their box of supplies before first period so that the event leaders have a chance to go through them and make sure that the, everything that's in the box meets the rules, that they haven't come with everything put together and there's nothing like contraband Legos in the box that they would have to take away until after the competition. So I've enlisted my daughter today to help me with this. Hi, are you here for STEM Design Challenge? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, so you've got your box and it's labeled and has your school's name on it. Wonderful, come back second period and we'll, we'll do your competition, okay? All right, good luck. The cups that you're gonna get the t for the Target are probably something like this, a cut-off Solo cup, or it might be a styrofoam cup, and this is about two-thirds cut off, so that there's lots of room for the golf ball to get in. There's a weight tape to the top. Again, there's nothing special about this. We're trying to add a little bit of weight to the cup so that it doesn't slide around on the floor while, while we're working on the competition. Every team will get the same kind of cup, whatever it is, when they get there that day. You don't have to supply this for us. We will have it for you, and every team will get a golf ball from us. So these two things will be provided to each team as they come into the competition. I highly recommend that your students have a tape measure in the box. This one is a 97 cent tape measure from Walmart that measures in metric, and that way they know that they, where they're trying to set up on the floor with the cup, okay? So now we've, we've started the competition. Our students have been building, okay? The, the best part about this one is that the engineering design process, even during the build time, allows them to keep modifying and setting up for this event. So wherever they set up that, and they build this, remember this was all a part in their box, and then she, her and her teammates have been building this um, for 30 minutes. They can test as many times as they want. So go ahead, Abby, do a test run. So this is before we, before the event leader comes. Okay, so what can you do? Okay, we're gonna move it over a little bit. So your team is able to modify their device, where the cup sits, um, right up until it, they're ready to tell the event leader that it's time to test. Okay, well maybe try that. Okay. So this might, so building quickly and really knowing their design will allow them plenty of time to test on the floor that they're on because, um, you know, it might be a little bit different than what you practice in school. All right, so you hit the edge, you're almost there, okay? Remember that they're allowed to bring one picture, not a collage, not a blueprint. It should be one photograph of their device to just help them remember. The design this year, for those of you who've done this with us for a while, is a lot simpler than in years past. So they should really be able to put this together pretty quickly. They are allowed to have labeled bags of supplies in their, um, in their box when they come. And they're allowed a much bigger box than this. They're allowed a copy paper box. Um, so they can have the pieces labeled that say base. They have to be unassembled, but they can all be in one, in one bag in their in their supplies when they get there. So they want to be able to line this up on the floor and from where the ball is to the edge of the cup has to be a minimum of 50 centimeters. Okay? And that's why I think it's just really important that they have a tape measure of some sort in the box so that they can be measuring this on their own and not maybe trying to share with another team. We might have one or two of these um, available at the tournament. All right, so there. So you know right there that it's going to hit, right? So we don't want to move anything. When your team is ready or time is called, we may get to the end of the 40 minutes and say time's up, no, don't touch your devices anymore, but even if they're ready early, they can certainly tell the event leader and test early. So the event leader will come over, they will measure from where the ball touches the ground, which is the center of the golf ball, to the center of the cup, not move anything, this is right at 50. Okay, so you're ready? Okay. They're gonna pull back on the arm, and they're gonna pause, and release. That's so that we know that they're not pushing it through and adding any extra momentum. Okay, so it has to be released on their own. Excellent. All right, so you get, you have, you were right at 50 centimeters, so you get the 50 points for going in the cup, and then you get another 100 points, two times your distance, for, um, because it was a success, successful run. So now, would you like to try for a longer distance, or do you want to keep the cup exactly the same? A little farther. A little farther, okay, why don't you come and set it where you want it. Okay, and then again, the teammates will get to do this. Now, if their first run was unsuccessful, and you can see that Addie was, was um, sighting on her device, that's fine in between the two runs, but if her first run was unsuccessful, she is allowed, hold on Addie, one second.
she is allowed to modify these pieces. She can't add anything else, okay, because time's already been called, but if she wants to tweak, modify, change around a piece that she has on this, that's allowed in between the two runs. All right, so now it looks like we're gonna go for a run of 61 centimeters. Okay, so this time she missed, and that means she'll get a zero on this run. When you do two runs, successful runs, well, even if you have one successful and one unsuccessful, it's the combination of the scores on the two that will give you your score for the day, okay? So the other thing that I didn't show is what event leaders will do before they test for the first time. So if you'll pull back the arm to where you want it to be, okay? We'll have to measure the devices. So it's when the arm is pulled back and in the ready to launch position, okay? This whole thing cannot be more than one meter wide, one meter tall, um, or one meter deep in any direction. It should fit in an imaginary one meter cube. And there was a typo on the score sheet for this, so and that's been fixed, but to clear up any, um, any confusion, everything about this should be within a one meter box. Now, this is meant to be a mini golf event, so we may, you, you cannot build a track. There cannot be a track that the ball just rolls down and rolls into the cup. There's not much scoring and accuracy to that. Um, you wanna, we won't, we need you to modify your devices if you still have a track of any kind, okay? The ball can't follow a track to the cup. It's gotta be on its own. And so spend your time making sure that it has a, it's precise as opposed to following a track through your device, okay?